AM Introduction Welcome to the introduction to AM. In this video, we will shortly review what autonomous maintenance is and why and how we implement it. Autonomous maintenance, AM, is one of the eight TPM pillars and is part of the TPM strategy, which aims at increasing the performance of a plant in a sustainable way. Autonomous maintenance enhances the knowledge and ownership of the operators to make them able to face more complex problems related to safety, quality, and productivity in the later stages. Autonomous maintenance includes any activity performed by the production department that aims at maintaining equipment conditions and is intended to keep the plant operating efficiently and stably in order to meet production plans. The vision of autonomous maintenance is the empowerment of the operators that leads to improvement in the manufacturing culture through increased employee morale and job satisfaction. Its mission is to teach operators how to maintain their own equipment on an ongoing basis, to develop employees' abilities and their sense of responsibility for safety, equipment, environment, process, and product. Its objective is to train, coach, and audit autonomous work groups, AWGs, to prepare the individuals and the organization for success in the areas of safety, process management, standardization, optimization of systems, and first-level maintenance, and ultimately to reduce losses caused by accelerated equipment deterioration. To achieve AM vision, mission, and objective, it is important to keep in mind that this requires a plan involving tools and techniques and the best use of resources, including people. This cannot be done all at once. It would be too overwhelming, uncontrollable, and inefficient. Thus, the autonomous maintenance is implemented in seven consecutive steps, starting with initial cleaning and proceeding steadily toward full self-management. This step-by-step -step approach clearly delineates each phase of the activities, allows for regular audits that secure the gains made at each step, and gives operators a sense of achievement as they proceed through the program. Spelling out the aims of each step in equipment and human terms, together with the kind of guidance managers are expected to provide, clarify the purpose of the activities. Autonomous Maintenance Pillar AM, as with others, is focused on the elimination of losses and their causes, first by the exposure, elimination, and control of hidden defects. It promotes the establishment of optimal process conditions by cycling through the Continuous Improvement CAPD management cycle. See the table in this slide. Steps 1 through 3 place priorities on abolishing environments that cause accelerated deterioration, reversing deterioration, and establishing and maintenance basic equipment conditions. Ensure operator initial commitment and safety. Expose and restore the hidden defects. Define routine inspections to prevent future failures. The goals of these steps are to get operators interested in their equipment and help them shake off their self-image as mere switch flickers or button pushers. In Step 4, General Equipment Inspection, the losses are related to functional parts. Operators are trained in the detail of the functional parts and update the tentative standards created in Step 3. The functional parts are split into seven sub-elements as follows. 1. Machine elements, fasteners, nuts, bolts, etc. 2. Drive systems. 3. Pneumatics. 4. Hydraulics. 5. Fans and pumps. 6. Lubrication. 7. Electrical systems, including sensors. The defined method for the approach to this is as follows. Identification of the losses. Agree and share expected standards. Maintenance team train the operators in the standards. Tagging exercise undertaken by the operators. Corrective actions undertaken by maintainers or operators. Updating of the standard. Team leaders teach inspection procedures to their members, and general inspection expands from individual equipment units to the whole process. In Step 5, general process inspection, operators, are trained in process inspection based upon specific losses identified. The output of the step is the creation of tentative standards covering three aspects. Correct operation, correct adjustment and setting, and correct handling of abnormalities. The defined method for the approach to this is as follows. Identification of human error losses. Agree expected standards with process engineering. Process engineering team trained the operators. Tagging exercise undertaken by the operators corrective actions taken by maintenance or operators, update standards. Therefore, the goals of Steps 4 and 5 are to reduce failures and develop operators who thoroughly understand their equipment and processes. Steps 6 and 7 are designed to entrench and upgrade autonomous maintenance and improvement activities by standardizing systems and methods and extending the fear of action from equipment to other areas such as stores, distribution, and so on. In Step 6, the program is performance-driven. The program becomes led by the combined teams of production, 
maintenance, and quality, with much of the improvement work being 5S based. In Step 7, the drive is to create full autonomous management by the team, aimed at continuous improvement. The defined method for the approach to this is as follows. Measure and analyze losses. Target losses and develop plan. Apply appropriate WCM tools to eliminate loss. Implement countermeasures. Develop standards. The ultimate goal of these steps is a robust organization capable of full self-management. Thank you for watching the video. You have now finished the introductory session. Please go on to the AM implementation videos to learn more and get a detailed understanding of the autonomous maintenance.